what came out of our meeting in uh, Venice was the clear assessment of the fact that the impacts of climate change are going to be <coughs> progressively serious and we also can see that uh, the cost of taking action to mitigate emissions of greenhouse gases is going to be progressively lower. So given these two considerations, I think it's very important uh, for the world to move on and really see that in Copenhagen we get a strong enough agreement, uh, <clears throat> something that commits all the nations of the world to taking action on the basis of common but differentiated responsibility uh, by which what we have assessed in the IPCC can <coughs> be brought down to reality. <coughs> it's interesting that the G8 leaders agreed on this aspirational goal of uh, temperature increase of 2 degrees Celsius um, which certainly is a big step forward in my view because this is something that they have not agreed on earlier, they have not even discussed it adequately earlier. Uh, but what I find as a dichotomy in this position is the fact that they have clearly ignored what the IPCC came up with. We had clearly uh, established uh, the trajectory by which we could reach stabilization of the Earth's atmosphere and stabilization of the concentration of greenhouse gases such that temperature increase will not exceed 2 to 2.4 degrees Celsius. And in uh, assessing that particular scenario, we had clearly uh, come up with the conclusion that the world will have to ensure that global emissions peak in 2015 and then decline rapidly thereafter. Now, if uh, the G8 leaders agreed on this two degree increase as being the limit that could be accepted, then I think they should have also accepted the attendant requirement of global emissions peaking by 2015. And if that were to be the case, then they should most categorically have said that by 2020, <clears throat> they are going to implement uh, the very clear uh, language of the Bali uh, plan of action which stated that by 2020 there would have to be deep cuts in emissions. Now it would have been very desirable if they had also spelt out what these deep cuts would be but I'm afraid they haven't talked either about the deep cuts uh, or for that matter or much less for that matter. Uh, specified what these deep cuts are going to be. So <clears throat> I think there are some positives in what has happened in uh, La, uh, La, La Kaila, but uh, there are several gaps which I'm afraid uh, are rather glaring. And uh, we can see that the science uh, is getting clearer. Uh, the gaps in our knowledge are certainly filling up. The certainty with which we can make projections is getting higher and therefore I think the time has come for the global community to take action.